it's kind of difficult for me to start this video simply because uh, I don't like starting drama, but I felt this was something that needed to be put out there. You know, the internet can be a cruel place, but I felt kind of obligated to call out the irate gamer. Lots of you may know him more so than you know me. That's okay. But this guy is just a clone of the angry video game nerd. And I had no problem with him, you know. I would love to be a clone of AVGN, you know, who wouldn't be? I got into this not to make money or get fame, but because I saw how much fun Mr. Rolf was having making these videos, and I said, why the hell not? It's not like there can only be one. This isn't Highlander or some shit like that. Lots of us can get on the internet, pick up a camera, and review games. But when you claim to do such a thing and not give any kind of credit where it's due, inspiration, that's when there's a problem. So, why am I putting this up now? Well, take a look at this here. Hello and greetings to all my fans. Now, I come to you today e-begging in hopes of getting tons of money because, well, everybody else seems to be doing it. Hell, I'll do it too. Clearly what we have here is a nice little satire of the Cheetah Man controversy that, you know, a lot of people are talking about. Hell, I even made a video myself about it. But really? I rate Gamer talking about it? This is one of those times where you, you should kind of, you know, just fall back and shut the fuck up. I mean, again, you are cloning James Rolfe. You've done everything, almost to the T, and done it kind of even worse. Don't get me wrong. You know, you've got some skills with editing and making videos. Your videos are entertaining. But let's be clear here. You are copying the AVGN. I'm not bashing you for that. I'm bashing you for making this video. You're biting the hand that feeds you almost. You won't come out and tell people that, you know, you were inspired by the guy, but you take a chance to make a video and take a shot at his problems? I mean, get off your fucking high horse, dude. Chris, you need to, you know, shut the fuck up with this video. I'm sorry if I sound irate, but whatever. Now, yes, I do own every game in existence, and I do a good job of showing it off in every episode. Aha, uh -huh, that's pretty funny, right? Yeah. No, seriously. You know, I get all the jokes. A lot of the fans do. That was cool. You know, but you have no place to really be making these kinds of jokes when, you know, you basically built your whole YouTube persona off of this guy. It's, it's the pot calling the kettle black. It's... It, it's now, I'm not saying you've scammed people. Maybe you've scammed a lot of folks into thinking that you came first. But let's be clear here. Even if the AVGN started after you, he'd still have more fans because his product is superior to yours. And I do have many sources of income on a monthly basis. But I come to you today because me and my friends need more money. You know, get more money however you can, dude. Maybe you should start a Kickstarter or something so you can get writers to make funnier episodes. Especially if you're one of those no-life haters that takes a microscope to the show. Or voice coaching because let's again come out and say that you're trying to be AVGN. So unless you were trying to just do your own thing and not be funny and just review games, that's one thing. But yeah, you need some more money. I agree. Sure you'll say my show sucks. Yeah, Chris. That's the one thing I think we can all agree on still. This is other yellow hat guys saying it's been fun. Leave comments, thoughts, whatever, and please subscribe.